growing up and being a little person, you look around, nobody else is like you. You're kind of the only one. With that, sometimes society makes you feel like you don't belong or you're weird or you're odd. Or how often do you see someone like me on TV? And if you do, you usually see us being like a character, a leprechaun, an elf or something like that. And society needs to realize is we are just people. We are not creatures. My name is Allie Chapman and I live in Los Angeles, California. When and how did I get into acting? I was on the internet and I just started looking up things and I ended up on a message board. It was a message board for little people with dwarfism that are needed for roles in TV and film. So I saw this one message that kind of stuck out with me and it said need a little person or a person with dwarfism for a major feature film. A very big name came up associated with the film and it was Will Smith. So the film was I Am Legend and what they were needing was a person with dwarfism, preferably an African American or a minority that can double for a six year old. They needed uh, this person to be a body double and a stand in for his daughter. Her name is Willow Smith. I kept pinching myself and we worked together very closely for three months. They called me Miss Allie on set every day. That was my nickname from him. You know, I've met Leonardo DiCaprio. I had a little conversation with him and Adam Sandler and Angela Bassett. I mean, these are all just phenomenal actresses and actors. They're just entertainment giants. And to be able to be in their presence, you know, I, yeah, completely like freaking out. Being a little person, growing up and being a little person, and you look around, nobody else is like you. You're kind of the only one. And with that, sometimes society makes you feel like you don't belong or that you're weird or you're odd or you know, something's wrong with you. I kind of wanted to hide. I, you know, I wasn't comfortable in my own skin. So I didn't want to be me. Being an actor or actress, like that was the furthest from what I wanted to do since I really was not about putting myself out there like that. And how often do you see someone like me on TV? And if you do, you usually see us being like a character, a leprechaun, an elf or something like that. And you know, what Hollywood and society needs to realize is we are just people we are not creatures we don't run around and do scary things like we're people like i pay bills i put my pants on just like you do and i don't understand why we should be able to turn on our televisions every day and see someone like me in, in a coffee shop or playing a doctor or playing a politician like why isn't this a thing all the time a few actors amazing actors that are you know in entertainment and you know i always think of everyone thinks of Peter Dinklage and, and he's phenomenal to the point where you don't even think of him as a little person. But as an actress, I'm trying to change that. I am probably trying to be the female Peter Dinklage. Just letting society know that we are people and you know we should be represented and we're not. We have a long way to go in that department. So I am a person of color and I am also a woman. You know, women we get discriminated against sometimes. The biggest thing for me is I'm a person with dwarfism. You know, before I went into acting. I tried to just work, you know, regular nine to five jobs. And I have been blatantly discriminated because, you know, people thought that I was not able. They look at me being three feet eight and they think, oh, she can't do what is required of the job. We are all human, but we also are unique. We're all different. And I would say not only for people with disabilities, but just all of us, nobody wants to feel alienated. But when you are like someone like me or just somebody that is physically different it happens and it's not fun I know and sometimes you don't want to go outside but you know what whatever you believe in it doesn't matter what you believe in but the universe wanted you to be who you are it is what it is and I want anyone seeing this that's going through a hard time such as I have in the past just know that you are meant to be here and you're amazing and just be yourself and everything will be great